If you're ready to get rid of your Mac and you want to leave your next owner with a clean slate, then this video is for you. I'm going to show you two methods you can use to factory reset your Mac, as well as what to do with an Intel Mac and an Apple Silicon Mac. Luckily, these steps are pretty easy and I am going to show you step by step how to do it, but be sure to watch this video in its entirety so you're aware of what you need to do. The first thing you want to do is, and this is optional, is to back up your data to an external hard drive. I will leave links down to external hard drives in the description, as well as a tutorial on how to create a time machine backup. But the reason why you want to do this is, let's say you don't have your new computer yet and you want to have a copy of your data to back up off of, um, this is something you're going to need to do. But once you have that done, you want to uh, sign off your Apple ID. So to do this, you want to go to system settings and then you want to click the top here and it should say uh, sign in. If it has your Apple ID there, you want to sign out of it. Next, after you've done that, we want to figure out the specs of your computer. And the reason why we want to do this is we want to know what method we need to use for resetting this. So to do this, you want to click the Apple logo and then you want to go to about this Mac and then it'll show you the specs of your computer. So take a quick photo of that and now we can move on to the next step. The first method I'm going to show, and this applies to 2018 and newer Macs running macOS Ventura or newer, is we're going to want to go and first make sure that the computer is updated. So to do this, go to system settings, then general, and then software update, make sure it's updated. And then once you make sure it's updated, you can go back one page and then we're gonna scroll down all the way to the bottom where it says transfer and reset data. So we're gonna click on that and then we're gonna click erase this Mac. And it'll give you a few short steps that you are gonna need to follow before you can reset it. And once you click that reset button, erase all content settings, typically it takes about 10 minutes for the computer to reset and then you're all set to go. There's literally no more things you need to do. Now, if that's not an option or you have an older Mac or for some reason that didn't work, we're gonna try resetting the computer via internet recovery. And to do this, you're gonna to need to shut down the computer first of all. And then on an Apple Silicon Mac, you'd wanna hold down the power button until it says startup options and then click this little gear icon. And on an Intel Mac, you wanna hold down option command R as you turn on the computer and eventually it'll get a screen of a spinning globe and ask you to connect to a Wi-Fi network. So you wanna to connect to your Wi-Fi network and my trackpad is kind of glitchy in this scenario, so I had to use the arrow keys. And then it'll give you a timer and after that timer is done, it will show the recovery screen. And from there, we're gonna go click on disk utility and then we're gonna go click show all volumes. We're gonna to wanna to click our internal hard drive here. It should be like the biggest thing kind of at the top. And then you wanna click erase. You want to name it Macintosh HD, have the format as either APFS or macOS extended drilled, and then have the partition map as GUID. And from there, we can click erase. And then once that's all erased, we can exit our disk utility. And then we may have to connect to a Wi-Fi network again. So to do this, go to the top right, connect to your Wi-Fi network, and then we're gonna click reinstall macOS. We're gonna click continue, agree to the terms. We're gonna select our internal hard drive and then it will install the operating system from the internet onto the computer. Now this process can be kind of time consuming. For me, it took about 45 minutes to an hour. So just keep in mind, this is gonna depend on your internet connection. And then if you do this method too, you are gonna to have to reset the PRAM. Luckily, this is pretty easy and really quick, but you wanna shut down the computer again. You wanna hold down Option Command PR. You wanna turn on the computer again, still holding those keys. And you wanna hold those keys until the computer chimes twice. And once the computer chimes twice and it boots back up again, you have finally reset the PRAM and you basically did a full factory reset on your computer. Now you finally know how to reset a Mac. If you guys found this video helpful, be sure to leave a like. If you're curious in checking out some MacBook reviews, I will put a playlist up on screen. Thank you again for watching and goodbye.